military will be leaner, but the world must know the United States is going to maintain our military superiority with armed forces that are agile, flexible, and ready for the full range of contingencies and threats. But make no mistake, we will have the capability to confront and defeat more than one adversary at a time. If they're not going to give anything up, they don't have the resources to do all the things they say they want to do. It just doesn't add up. Well, the president uh, making a historic trip to the Pentagon briefing room to out to lay out rather uh, defense cuts that will be coming focus shifting towards Asia Pacific away from ground wars toward air and sea power uh, the Army and Marine Corps will get smaller uh, the F-35 fighter jet production will be slowed but not stopped uh, military retirement and health benefits will be overhauled before the break our question of the day asked you what do you think of President Obama's defense cuts 93 percent of you say they cut too much in our unscientific poll online we're back with the panel Charles the poll is correct this budget strategy is a roadmap of American decline it's going to reduce our capacities it does exactly what the president had said he was not going to do today which is it will adapt our strategy and our capacities to fit a budget. And remember, this is a budget without any cuts in entitlements, which is essentially what's killing us and adding to our deficits. Instead, it takes it out of defense. Yes, it says we don't want to have uh, new large ground wars. Well, I agree. That's fine. But sometimes a Pearl Harbor happens or an invasion of South Korea or a 9-11, and then you... A ground war is thrust upon you. It isn't as if it's a choice. So the strategy is to reduce the ground forces, increase the Navy and Air Force, and yet a huge cuts in, in, in the Joint Strike Fighter, which is the fighter of, the, of this new century. This is a budget that is going to reduce American capacity. It's going to make it extremely hard to carry the role that we have for the last 70 years.